All right, guys. So let's check out what I pack for a trip like this. So first of all, I have three bottoms. We have three quarter pants and two pairs of shorts. Plus I will wear a pair of pants, uh, long pants on the plane. I have a small towel and some sleeping clothes. I have five t-shirts. Unfortunately, they're almost all dark blue. I have two head scarves because I'm going to the Middle East and I'll be needing those to enter mosques, etc. Um, here I have swimwear, swimming shorts, a swimming shirt and a bikini top. And here I have a sling bag, which is how I like to carry my camera when I'm walking around towns and cities. It's a great bag too, it's an exo mesh bag, which means that it's got safety enhancements inside. For example, you can't scan your cards and stuff inside. It's also got really, really clever locks, so as uh, people can't open your bag when you're not looking. So I love to take that. Over here, I have a bag full of underwear and whatnot which you don't need to see, a hat and some toiletries and some medicines in case I get sick. Unfortunately, my little cat Tangi isn't coming, but he likes to inspect everything as I pack. He gets excited and wants to get into everything. What are you doing, Tangi? He smells good, does it, Dal? made it through, checked in, through immigration, through security, um, heading to my gate, gonna chill, find a coffee maybe, it's uh, 9.42 p.m. and we're on a total red-eye flight, departure is 11.50 p.m arriving at my destination at 4 a.m. So it's a long night. Um, a little bit over seven hour flight. Not too bad. Yeah, big adventures starting tomorrow. Spend quite a bit of time at Vietnam's Saigon airport these days. We'll find our gate, find a coffee, and uh, sit and chill for a bit, I think. We've got what, about an hour till boarding. I don't think anything's down that way. So let's turn around and go back this way. Um, got about another hour till boarding. Steph's not coming on this trip. Uh, unfortunately, she has to work, so it's just a girl on the loose, not girls. Um, Someone too has to stay home and take care of our cats, TNG and Patches. Sometimes we get a cat sitter, but I'm away three and a half weeks this time and we've never left them for more than about 12 or 13 days. 
so it's a bit too long plus Steph had to work anyway so I'm doing this one alone so I'm heading to four destinations first of all Dubai although it's only a transit until I return later then Egypt Jordan and Iraq so quite a busy itinerary indeed should be great photography will be fantastic vlogging will be fantastic um, got a little surprise when we hit Egypt I'll fill you in uh, later maybe in the next vlog but hang around lots of Egypt content coming up starting tomorrow and on our way hello sir and yes I'm gonna wear a mask on the flight because even prior to COVID I always caught a cold on long flights so I'm not gonna risk it I'm gonna wear a mask and uh, be a good girl Thank you. Hello. It's where the lucky people sit. And I'm here. Oh, no window. You're kidding me. <laughs> it's a very full plane, 100% full. There was heaps of luggage too. I don't even know how it's going to get off the ground. Wish me luck. So far guys, it's a really rowdy flight, uh, full of Russians and a uh, few Vietnamese tour groups. Uh, yeah, hopefully they behave themselves, but Russians everywhere. And we have arrived in Dubai on what seemed like an even longer flight than uh, seven hours. That was really tiring. And here we've got to connect. security again Let's turn this off still looking for my gate so uh, the flight from Saigon dropped us at the C terminal and now I'm walking to A terminal which is about a half an hour walk I'm about halfway now but still got a ways to go oh here's a supermarket even how's that in the airport lots of electronics Hmm, technically I should be buying some more memory cards. Let's just go and have a look how much they are. Be interesting to see if they're comparable to Vietnam. Alright. Hmm. I have the Ultra, but I don't see the Extreme Pro. No. Oh, you're yeah, here. It's a 128. It's a 114, is it? Um, 114 AED for 128. It's a nice size card. It's 66. That's normally what I get. 64 gigabyte and it's 66 AED. Let's see if we can figure out what that is. So 66 is 400, wow. So that's nearly double the price they are in Vietnam. 
although you can never be 100% sure in Vietnam that you're always getting the real product. So after about 14 hours of travel, we've still got another five hours to go, plus another hour or so waiting here at Dubai Airport. Um, flight from Dubai to Cairo is about five hours, and then it'll still take another hour at least to get out of the airport, and then another hour to get to the hotel. So it's been a very long travel day. I am starting to fade a little bit, so hang in there with me. and. Uh, We'll give you lots of tips and information about travel to Egypt, especially as solo female. Now I've heard the stories that a lot of you are apprehensive about traveling to Egypt. There's uh, some not so flattering vlogs out there. It is true, Egypt can be tough. However, not all of those vlogs have been... <coughs> However, not all of those vlogs have been completely fair. <laughs> Awesome. Were to do a visa on arrival, you have to go over there to the banks or over here to the banks and pay your $25 and then you get a sticker and with that sticker you come and line up here at immigration. Well guys that was super easy. Didn't even look at the e-visa document. Just took my card. Maybe it was in the system when he scanned my passport. But yep, definitely EVs is the way to go. And uh, through in three or four minutes. Okay, we're heading down to the carousel here to uh, number seven. So the price is here at Vodafone. So I definitely recommend using Vodafone here in Egypt. So at Terminal 2 here, after you come out of the uh, luggage carousel area and you're actually in the arrivals hall, is where you'll find three SIM card operators. Vodafone's probably the best, then Orange, and after that, Eddie Salad. Hi guys, are you having a good day? Hi. Alright guys, so it took about 10 minutes to get the SIM card and that was partly because it's so busy. As we can see, there's a lot of people at Orange, even more at Eddie Salad, probably because Eddie Salad's the cheapest but it's the cheapest for a reason um, and Vodafone who have the best network I think we over there also uh, is now in the game alright this is the arrivals hall uh, the new airport didn't have the uh, sim cards and the ATMs inside where the carousels are they're out here in the arrivals hall there's several ATMs down here which I just used let me show you so I just used the green one here at the front the Arab African International Bank being an international bank it usually those ones usually work best with international cards I like to use the Dubai banks when I can 
Um, but yeah, no problem at all using Arab Africa International Bank. Uh, one little downside though was you're only allowed to take out 4,000 pounds, which is about, what, 200 Australian dollars? So not a lot um, at a time. Of course, you can put your card back in and go again. I'm looking for... No, 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 I have driver. Outside. Outside, okay. Thank you, guys. Hello. All right, where's my driver? No, I'm looking for my yeah. driver. Hello? No. All right, so there's plenty of places there's to get a taxi, one. that's for sure. And finally, we can get outside. Visa process took all of three minutes. So easy with the e-visa. Forget the visa on arrival. Alright guys, so we've made it here to the hotel at Giza. As you can see, we've got a great location here at the pyramids in front of the Sphinx with full access view. Now let's recap a little bit of what we went through. So I took a flight from Saigon to Dubai. It was about eight hours. I hung out in Dubai's Terminal 2 airport for about four hours and then took another flight from Dubai here to Cairo. Now in Cairo we landed at the new airport um, which is kind of desert in a more deserted location than the original airport and in Terminal 2 is where most of the flights from the Gulf region come in. Um, Terminal 2 once you exit um, the luggage carousel and customs you go out into the arrivals hall there at arrivals hall on the left um, uh, some ATMs you can use to get some Egyptian pounds from your home bank account and on the right are the SIM card sellers Vodafone, Orange and Eddie Salad. I definitely uh, recommend Vodafone or Orange. Um, then you exit the arrivals hall and you go out into Cairo proper and once you cross the road there you'll see all the hotels with their uh, plaques saying your hotel name or your name and that's where you pick up your driver. Now from there, it's about a 40 minute uh, drive here to the pyramids. It's about 30 minutes to downtown. Um, I recommend when you stay in Cairo, uh, one or two nights, you stay down here at Giza. Now it's not the easiest place to stay. Number one, there are a lot of touts. There's not many good options for eating either. There is a Pizza Hut and I think a KFC, but um, you know the local food here is not as good as you'll find in downtown however some of the hotels do have decent kitchens and you can get something to eat it's worth it to have the view we have behind us and of an evening when the light and sound show is on you can also watch it for free which is great um, so I do recommend you come and spend a night or two in this area in Cairo and then Later, maybe when you're back from traveling uh, down south like Luxor, Haggadah or up north like Dahab or Sharm el Sheikh that you uh, come back to Cairo and you stay downtown then and do your downtown tourism like the museum, Karnal Khalili and Old Cairo at that time. Stay tuned for more from Egypt and more from Cairo. Bye for now. We're Girls on the Loose.